Good morning, modern steaders. We have a pile of bacon, or should I say, curing pork bellies in our walk-in cooler downstairs that need to get smoked and turned into bacon. So right now, we need to get the smoker fired up. Good morning, ducks. Need to get a good hot bed of coals going. And then we'll put our apple wood on here so we can smoke the bacon. You guys like the steps because the sun shines right there or we're always finding the chickens on the stoop. I think it's because the sun's right here. Boom. And I'll tell you what, after a long winter, that sun feels nice. And the chicks are doing good. I almost forgot one of the bacon hooks. We're gonna need that. I like to give the meats just a little quick rinsing and then pat them dry. We don't have enough bacon hooks to hang up all the bacon. Normally we don't cure this much at once, but because of the class we cured a bunch of the jowls all at once so we can do different demonstrations. So I'm gonna poke holes in these slabs of bacon and I'm gonna put butcher's twine in them to hang them in the smoker. Hopefully the fire's still going well. It's a Little warm, not too bad. Smoking. So that means the coals are going good, I hope. I mean, we can get some apple wood on there and get the bacon smoking. Oh, look at that. Perfect. I want to keep as much of the coals up front as I can to keep the heat away from the chimney pipe. And we just want the smoke going in there because we're cold smoking.
I will say that smoker is pretty full of bacon. We ran out of propane in our propane tank. The gauges don't work. So this morning I have to cook on some induction cooktops we have. Luckily we have them. Our old house had a apartment size stove. So we had bought these induction cookers. And this morning I'm glad we saved them. Breakfast was good. Hope I don't have any egg on my face. That would not be cool. Let's see how the bacon's doing. We need to add some more wood. Get that smoke going. But the temperature's good. That's the one good thing about having a lot of old apple trees here. We have endless supplies of apple wood. The chickens must smell the bacon. That's smoking nicely now. Let's help encourage the chickens to eat that compost pile better and dig in there and turn it up. We have a lot of fresh pasture-raised pork. After our pasture-to-plate whole hog culinary class, and I want to brine up a nice ham, fresh ham. So in here I have some bay leaves, onions, garlic, sugar, brown sugar, salt, and a few other spices. I'm gonna make our brine. Now these have been smoking for just over two hours for us. We don't like a huge smoky flavor. But that looks delicious. So now this is gonna go in here. Marinade. Does it look delicious? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it downstairs. Smell like bacon in here? Yeah. Yeah. We can set this right here. Perfect. What's the matter? It's cold. <laughs> it's 37. Yeah. Uh, now we gotta wait between five and ten days for that ham to finish brining. Can we wait that long? Nope. We will though. We will. And we'll take you along yeah. on the journey while we eat it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you right back here on the next video at Run the Acres, a guide to running home setting, such efficiency and freedom. Bye. Bye.